Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Foundation. Back to Foundation, I should say. We did cover this oh, way back when, uh, a long time ago now, and um, I thought it was about time we took another look at it. I'm hoping for a full release sooner than later. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, but there has been a big uh, update to the beta called the Winter Update, uh, so I thought we'd pop in and, uh, and see where the game sits and hopefully get a little bit of a mini-series out of it. So I'm going to click a new game. Uh, and I'm going to go for a uh, fluvial map. I like the fluvial map. It's got a bit of water, but not too crazy terrain to work with. It's just right for what we need. And uh, here we are. We don't need help. We know exactly what we're doing. So first things first. I don't, we don't know exactly what we're doing at all. But first things first. I do know that we have to pick a, a starting spot. Um, I would like it to have water in it, I think, to help. But I, let's have a look at the map. This this seems to be our big expanse of land. That If we, if we are ever going to build a humongous city this is kind of where it's going to be i think all of these are more uh, islandy based areas this isn't too bad but there isn't a starting zone here so i think i'm going to ignore that one i'm going to ignore the uh, maybe that one that's just on the coast maybe and we can always spread down if we need to this one these ones yeah i think this here with some stone some trees some berries i'm going to say we start here Okay, so first things first, then we need to build a village center. So, games come on quite a bit. I still think, looking at it, I still think the UI needs work, if I'm honest. I, I do still think the UI um, is a little uh, work in progress, you know. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, we can control this to have it red. It doesn't really matter too much where it goes. We're going to place it down there. And here we go. Oh, we've got a few more people than we normally had, I think. Um, but that's good. So first of all, uh, one of the main things, if you've not seen Foundation before, I should probably say, it's a it's a sort of settlement builder, not quite city, but you know, sort of settlement town builder. Um, but the, the favorite thing about it is that all the larger monument buildings, the churches, the, um, the, uh, the, the manor house, all that kind of stuff, it's all uh, craftable and, and, and editable and buildable how you like, how you want it. Uh, and also the, um, the whole game is sort of free forms. So there's no grid system. It's really gorgeous how the cities come together and, and the, and the people decide where their houses go. I think one of the biggest updates in this one is that people will move now. Cause that was always a bit of a problem beforehand. They would, they, they get a house that it was way away from where they were working and it caused a bit of a problem. So now they'll move closer to where they work. But for the most part, it's all kind of sort of procedurally generated the houses and stuff. It's really quite great. You'll see as we get going. So, first of all, I've got to remember how to put down these uh, development zones. There we go. So, extraction uh, allows for wood cutting. So, here's the thing, right? What well, all we can do, really, is tell people where to get stuff from. So, what we can do is we can say, okay, I want you to get those berries. I want you to get that rock. And I want you to get these trees to start off with, okay? But we can only do it within that sort of hexagon. You can see the hexagon there. Go to the edge. I'm going to start with those trees, okay? We're going to clear this area out here, okay? That's, and if you want to, this can all get painted. It's just basically whatever, whatever's in there will get extracted, okay? So that's that. Right, so public buildings there. We need a lumber camp to start uh, working on the lumber. So we'll place that around here. Um, put it right there into the trees and also we could do with the gathering hut which is where people will go for these berries very early started off with the berries okay so um, waiting for a builder okay so we're going to select a few people to be builders so we'll say you and you in fact we might as well set a few people to be builders to start off with no reason not to there we go so you're all going to be builders Oops. And um, then I, I guess, there we go, bringing the tools to build it. So we have, let's have a look at what we have. Uh, oh, here we go. We've got 30 bricks, 15 tools, 10 berries. Uh, so 30 wood, 15 tools, 10 berries. So tools, if I remember rightly, I had a bit of trouble with the tools last time. I think we could, we could trade them. How do we make them? Stonemason hut, is it? Produces polished stone. Yeah, I think to start off with, we couldn't um, we couldn't make tools. We have to trade them. And I think the problem was we we I think we set it up the wrong side of a river or something. The trader couldn't get over. That was all way 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 ago. That's not a problem anymore. That's all fixed. I'm sure. So is this nearly done? We can speed the game up a little. Uh, so the wood cutter um, available. So there we go. We'll put three people on wood cutting, and we'll put 
Oh, we need to maybe take some people off building then. Um, forager. There we go. So who's your? Yeah, your forager. Can we? Can we? There we go. Do it that way. Boom. There we go. So we've got two foragers, three woodcutters. Obviously, wood is a is a key priority, and then three builders. Okay. So at the moment, this is our town centre. It probably won't end up being it. I think maybe we'll end up moving this way a little. But so far, we'll we'll base this on the idea of being the small sort of town centre. So we've produced berries. That's good. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I have a dog getting tangled up in my headphone wire. Thank you, Papa. Um, okay, so we've got berries coming in. We now need to look at um, granary. Uh, use of stocking and trading resources for food. So, it's going to cost us some gold, some wood and some stone. That's not so bad, but we're going to be able to put stuff in there to trade. So, I reckon we'll put this down here. Where's the entrance? Entrance is there, okay. Not that I think it matters too much, I don't think. We'll place that down there. We could do with somebody uh, collecting some stone. Is that a job that we can give people? You're a forager, okay. You're a builder, right? Okay, so how about stone cutter? Now, is that a job? There we go. We need this in over here to get this little bit of stone in down here. Not much. But hopefully enough to get started and that's going to produce the stone eventually we'll turn it into polished rock but for now we just need to get some stone in because i think a lot of these buildings require stone yeah there we go five of five so gwyneth is assigned to construction good job gwyneth very cute little art style one of my favorite things about the game is the art style love to see them all pottering around love that they've got costumes i think that's new I don't remember them having little clothes. Not sure about these images. Don't think they match the rest of the game. They have quite a cutie, um, cutie look about them. And then here we've got these sort of old picture. Yeah, not, not, not sure they particularly go together. Okay, so the wood's cutting down. Maybe it's coming in. I don't know. We will have spent a lot of it, obviously. But here you go. Look, so you can start to see a bit of this uh, sort of procedural generation there. This path. These paths will form over time. So this thing's still getting constructed, but when it's done, um, I think maybe the jobs are working a little bit differently. Who are you? There, come here, come here. Richard, yeah, no, it's done it. There we go. Richard is now going to produce some stone, uh, and we can get our gathering tub finished. I want Richard to do a fine job. You can get quite a few of them going, but I do want to keep some of them to be builders. And the way we get new people is by making the people we currently have happier. And um, and then they will... Uh, other people will turn up. It's, so I don't I don't think they can reproduce in the game. But I think people will, will show up and be like, Oh, we'd like to come and live here. It looks pretty, pretty sweet. There we go. Some stone is being provided there. Not many people would cut in. Is it just that you're having a break? My workplace is full. Ah, okay. So next um, next thing we need then is to turn one of our builders, or maybe actually I might take one of our woodcutters off the job. Um, because I think, if we, if I remember rightly, we have the ability to uh, set you to be a, a mover, a transporter. There we go. And then when this is finished, it'll be their job to transport the wood from here. So that's basically full of wood right now. Maybe it can hold 54 or 50, I suppose it probably can hold. There we go. So some people will transport. The builder will go and get the stuff they need. There we go, three or five. But yeah, what we what we need is, it's, it's just builders will do that. What are you doing? Are you a builder? Come here, let me just check. You are... You're a builder, yeah. So the builders will go and get stuff they need but for moving around for production lines we need we need people to do it which i believe is you transporter there we go i'm on my free time looking to fill my needs and my needs are food and, and water so maybe a well is not a bad idea again need some stone but we could probably put a well down as the start of our uh, uh housing now i think if i remember rightly the well is where houses are generated so maybe maybe a little building there maybe there and houses will start to pop up around it 
I'm kind of happy for them to chop down trees, that, that lump of trees there. So we need, uh, oh, well, there we go. Villamy has gone there. So slot one, you can store uh, berries, sure. There we go. Slot two. Well, I'll pick what you store. Well, it sounds like trees are getting cut down again. Good stuff. You have a new quest. Fill the needs of your newcomers. There we go. So hopefully... That well there being constructed. Stone's on its way. So this is it. Once, they, once they've made the pass, they will use them unless unless it looks like they're going to use that run quite a lot. So she hasn't walked sort of through those trees there. She's followed the path that's been generated to the uh, to the stonemasons there. So I kind of think it's something we have to think about. So there we go. There's three stone there. A couple more stone would be nice. Claude is bringing one in. Good stuff, Claude. And hopefully that'll mean they start building houses. Like I say, we don't um, we don't build them for them. We uh, we give them the space. We say you can use this space to build your houses. So they want to mark it. Now that is something we can do. Um, I think. Oh, here's the research key. So... Gathering hut, granary well, stone cutter sawmill, mason hut, locked, lumber camp. Oh, so maybe we need 12 of them before we can do that. We've got eight currently. Bells, well's complete. Well, 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 there it is. Provides water for the villagers, that's good. So why won't they let us build a market? Trade. Gathering hut, so lumber camp, gathering hut, granary. Uh, our granary is just for food, not for wood, right? Well, stone cutter camp, sawmill, stonemason hut. Hmm. So I'm not quite sure why it won't let me build a market. Perhaps I am missing something. Aha, I got it. So these are general, these are monuments. So these monuments one, and these are the ones I was talking about before, where you can sort of build them procedurally. And it's really quite fun, this. So I think, I think maybe a market stall around here like a, a, a full market around here would be pretty cool so um foods food food <laughs> goods luxury i mean food really is the only real one we need right now so i'm gonna place that down i'm gonna figure out which way it goes looks like it's that way okay so i'm gonna place down a food stall on that food stall let's put a tent yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Uh, good food store sign. I mean, most of these just require a bit of wood to build. But they just really fill in the place. And th I love all this sort of stuff. Look, barrels around the back. Yeah, this is all great. And then once we've um, once we've done what we want to do, this is it tells us up here what it's going to cost us. So, oh, it needs a bit of cloth. And I, d I don't actually think we have cloth. So that might be a problem. So for now, do you know what? I'm going to take that off. In fact, I'll take those off as well because we don't have the planks. I'll build what we need to build because you can go back in and edit these as well, which is which is good. So that doesn't require anything. That's fine. So that's fine. Um, some of the littler things like uh, benches and, and bits of bits of path and uh, bits of uh, fence and stuff don't necessarily. So so that's good. But uh, yeah, otherwise you do require wood and stuff. So we're going to put that in, put what we need in. And then we can go back later once we've got the resources to really sort of flesh it out, make it look a bit more interesting, a bit more fun. And eventually, like I say, these, this gathering place will be all go. Um, and that's all good. So we need to sign a market trader. I don't believe the market, first market's going to sell berries. There we go. And... Do we, how do we do it? Do we do we go here? So transporter, we kind of need you. Kind of need builders, to be honest. Uh, we've got quite a few berries. I'm going to take a berry picker off um, the job, Forager. You can become a market tender instead. There we go. Apologies for the noise. Uh, the crazy Alsace. Uh, Alsace, I was going to call it. We haven't said Alsace for years, have we? German Shepherd. Making it around with the tennis ball at the moment, I'm afraid. Sorry. So fill the needs of the newcomers. That is done. There we go, our market store. Like I say, it doesn't look like much at the moment, but later on will. 
So increase your population by maximizing immigration probability. Right, so everyone, so the immigration probability system is everyone's got something to do and everyone's happy. So that should go up as people buy food, right? Now, the, the real question is now, can we, we still can't give them anywhere to live, interestingly, because what the way we do that is we have one of these zones here that's residential, basically, and we turn the area to be residential and they, uh, and they start working. But uh, happiness is going up, and I'm, I'm assuming that's just going up as people are getting food and drink, right? Uh, there, look, there we go, 88. So the market trader will go and get berries from the storage there and bring them over, which is good. The transporter will take berries from there to there. Okay, we've got a nice little chain going here. This is good. 94 happiness now. So really just one more person needs to come and buy some berries, and we've done it. Nice one. So the quest is now complete. Uh, from the one people who are passing, one declined, decided, excuse me, to join your village. Oh, okay. Great. So we have... I mean, are they on their way? You can some. I used to be able to see them running in. They'd come down, they'd be like... And you'd see them entering the... The place, which was good, but uh, I don't think I can. Oh yeah, here we go. Hi. So I'm assuming we're waiting for her to get to the town, and then when she does, it'll give us something else to do. We're doing all right on gold at the minute. Income is 11, cost is seven. That's great. We're making money on the uh, on the berries basically. So we need to kind of keep that up because obviously we do need cash. There we go. So now House, Rustic Church, and Lord Manor are now available. The kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your settlement. Okay, so I am but your humble servant. This gives us uh, points to use in research. Uh, promote your first newcomers. Uh, we'll give you the quest to unlock the warehouse from the Labour Estate Panel. Okay, so the Labour Estate Panel, that's going to be Estate Manager, Labour, Warehouse. So we need one of... We need to unlock. We need ten newcomers, and we currently have nine. We have one newcomer and eight serfs. We need ten newcomers. Wow, that's quite a way away. Um, we have a new quest. Promote your first newcomers. Oh, maybe. No, eight serfs. Do serfs become newcomers? We need to give them space for housing anyway, so we can do that. Residential. Here we go. And our first residential is going to be here around this. Um, around this well and that'll clear those trees out and create a lovely residential area oh no don't want to give that that doesn't want to be residential i'm afraid there we go Something like that give us some more space down here towards the beach nice little beachside village and then there you see that they'll just they'll decide where to put their houses if i remember rightly houses will take um, two people, I think, in each one, but they'll go here. They'll be all around the. They'll be around the well. They've got the market down here. First house is complete. There we go. Look at this. Isn't it adorable? Absolutely love it. Um, I was kind of hoping the trees would be removed a bit more than that, but that's fine. It's, it's a forest, a forest, little forest village. There we go. So two people decided to join. So it looks like. Let's have a look. Yeah, max capacity two. So we've currently got. We're going to have 11 people, which means we should have six houses, right? So what we need to do is make sure we keep an eye on this and make sure that people have got the space to build the houses that they want to build. So what we could probably do is we could probably go to extraction here. Take this back a little. Uh, obviously, we've got to keep the rocks in there because they need to extract said rocks. We'll take all of this back. And now, and just keep, I'll tell you what, we'll just keep uh, berries in. Boop, there we go. And now we can have a bit more residential right up to the path here. And it's telling us here on the ground, look, where is, where's prime real estate? And I guess it's telling me prime real estate's over there. So we'll do that as well. We've got the option there if they want to. Keep, keep off the beach. So still just four houses, that's interesting. That nobody else has, has thought to... Uh, three newcomers. Right, so... Sir, no, no, newcomers are the new ones. Okay, so we've got to promote... But you must have to have any any newcomers. Sign a great hall function to the Lord Manor room at the end of the month. Promote a villager to surf. Okay. And then it'll lock it. Right, okay. So we've got quite a bit to do here. But look at that. We've got a lovely little forest village. Yeah, I would kill for a few of these trees to be moved. All right, um... 
Let's come over here to extraction and just say that all of this area here. Actually, I quite like that one there. All of this area here needs extracting. Okay. And then to speed that process up, we can actually un unclick that area. And basically they will they will now the, 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 they will now have to come over here to clear that area out and all. I don't mind it being like a tree, you know, like a forest lined little village, but yeah, this is this is our three point here. So build the Lord Manor. Now I'll be honest with you, I don't want to build the Lord Manor here. I want to build it a bit further up. So I'm gonna look at buying some more land. Um territory. There we go. So we can buy this here. It's gonna be five hundred gold, pretty much all of our gold. And it will cost us a bit more. So when that hits five hundred, I've gotta go for it. Because otherwise we're, we're we're never gonna we're never gonna end up with it. But there we go. We now have that. We can build the Lord Manor up here, away from the plebs <laughs> that's going to be the idea here away from the uh, the ruffians we can build somewhere for us to live okay had a little time run for a second there because we need some money because to build the lord manor uh, i think by the way the houses are only built by serves not by newcomers uh, to build the lord's manor we need some we need a, we need planks and to get planks we need 100 gold so we have the 100 gold now which means we can build a sawmill uh, which turns wood into planks so now i might as well build it right here since that's less uh Less tran less movement, you know. Uh, where where's Ian, do you reckon? They're there on the side. So I'll build you. Uh, I love the fact that you can really overlap these and stuff. There we go. And we'll get that started. We can also do Forester Camp. No, we have that. Yeah. We need 12 to do Forester Camp. So how, let's just let us, can we only build one? Oh, that's Lumber Camp. Ah, Forester is for replanting trees. Of course, of course, of course. This all makes perfect sense. Are we clearing these trees out here, folks? It seems like we may be, but perhaps not good enough. Thank you. Yes, there we go. That's what we want to see. We want to see a nice little open place here with the well. Look at that. Now here, let's have a look. Decoration. We've got fence, decorative bush, and wooden gates. Uh, oh, I quite like the decorative bushes. Let's put a couple of them down. What do they cost us to do? Two gold. Oh, yeah, come on. I like those. Just some little decorative bushes. That's good. A little bit of fencing. See, they've got, they're, all the builders have got their own fences anyway, so that's fine. But I think fences and lights and stuff eventually will work around, around the paths and stuff to really make them pop. Uh, I do like the fact that you can do all that. The, the Founders Fortune had a similar system as well. It was quite fun. Obviously, that one was grid-based. I, I love the freeform nature of this. I just think it looks awesome. Great art style. Uh, okay, so the extraction zone, extraction zone is now complete. So we'll head you back over to here. Clear that. In fact, no, I won't actually do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all that off a sec. Hold on. I just, I wish the, uh, the stone and wood extraction would be nice if it was separate. Yeah, there we go. Um, what I want you to do actually is clear this out. I understand what that looks like. Please, no comments. So, available villager. Do, have we got more than one? Oh, we got two. We got two carpenters there. They will get started on their wood. And the good thing is, like I say, it'll move back and forth really quick. Do we have maybe space for another transporter? No, there we go. Everyone's everyone's jobbing. Everyone's working. At the moment, our only money really is coming in from... I think we get some taxes. Um, I think we get some money from, from, from there. Village 21. I, I, is there a way to see that a bit better? Let's have a look. Workplace, workplace list. There we go. No, hold on. Villager list. There we go. This will see. See, Rupert, unemployed. Come on, Rupert. Get to work, please. There you go. Good lads. Gonna get you doing something, eh? Uh, territory budgets. Here we go. So, income. Villager consumption is... It's just berries, look. Yeah. So, we don't we don't earn tax off the buildings. I think we can once the manor's built or something. There's definitely a way of making more money. Because otherwise, we're gonna be... This is gonna be a long process. Do we have planks coming in there? We do. Okay. I will... Begin the process of the Lord Manor. Whether we get it complete or not, I don't know. Because again, there's going to be lots more options of things we can do. But here we go, Lord Manor. This is great. This will give you a really good idea of the of the sort of detail we can go to. 
with these things. So I'm going to build the Lord Manor over here. So we have a core, and that costs five gold, ten planks, six stone. Okay. And I think we have to have one of those. So here we go. Oh, it looks it looks loads better than it did. Okay, so we're going to place this down uh, here. Like that. And then we have a doorway, of course. So we're going to... What have you got? toys okay so we have a doorway here now now we can snap to these points or if i remember rightly we can turn that off uh left click and drag on the green arrows hmm. left click and drag on green vertical arrows will grow and shrink the part accordingly i don't think we can do it with doorways uh, control and horizontal movement is rotate. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I don't really want to do that, to be honest. We'll leave it as is. Leave the doorway like that. So I think that's all we need. Um, but we can also do this kind of thing as well. So, so all of these buildings, to start off with, I don't think they do much, if I'm honest with you. I don't think they do much. But, but eventually, there's buildings that do actually do things. Oh, here we go. Look, yeah, let's, let's drag that up a bit to there okay cool and then is wooden the same just yeah made out of wood okay this thing we've got an extension here that we can maybe put on uh no um so hold on what was control rotate there we go no uh woodcutter could not find accessible resource oh they've cleared that area out that's good okay um and then we've got this awesome little stuff, look, water fountain. Oh, yeah, let's get a water fountain. That ain't gonna look very good there, is it? No, okay. Uh, weather cart can go at the top of the building there. Yeah, good. And oh, what are you? A wall banner. I will say you go there. Break that white up a little. So that's gonna cost us plank, stone. We don't have the cloth. Let's take you off. Is you the cloth, are you? Yeah, unfrock cost is none. Has a door, yes, okay. Start construction. Big process that. Big process. Take a while to build that will. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's clear this extraction cock and balls out. <laughs> um and put uh, and put a new bit back in. So again we'll clear off I, I suppose this area, because this could be a second little sort of housing area here. And then relates I mean all of this can go. Because this will all be housing. Uh, let's just take that off there because that's berries. There we go. And then eventually we'll have to move the forestry. I think for now that's not so bad. That's going up pretty quick actually. Quite impressed by that. It's mostly planks going in, but there's going to be stone. Tell you what, there are people joining the village. Let's get that's up our stone cuttering. There we go, Richard. Richard and Victor. Can go in. Richard's quite a plain name, isn't it? But to be honest with you, my middle name's Richard, so I'm a bit of a fan of it. I love you. Didn't know that. Mm, excuse me. I'm trying to drink more water. I went to a chiropractor this morning, and he said, "Lay off the coffee. More water. Uh, apparently, it matters." And I'll be honest with you, he knew what he was on about because he pulled me to shreds, and I popped like popcorn in the microwave, and I feel fantastic now. <laughs> So, unlock the warehouse from the lip. So, assign a great hall function to the Lord Manor. That that seems new. I don't recall that. So, I'll tell you what. We'll finish up the Lord's Manor. The Lord Manor house is complete. And like I say, we can go back into this and click edit and, and you know, stick more bits on as we want to later on as well, which is good. I did, I'm did. i sure I remember being able to turn off the... Ah, there it is. Look, T. There we go. If we did that... Yeah, that's... There we go. I knew you could do it and really make some... Some really quite interesting uh, and shapes and stuff, you know. So to bring that in there like that, that looks cool, doesn't it? And then maybe, maybe from there we could raise this tower up a little. Can we do that now it's built or not? Oh, we have. Would we have to delete the tower? Destroy building? No, I don't want to destroy building. But can you just do? Well, maybe not. Um, but yeah, there's definitely uh, there's definitely fun things to do there. Let's let's try that. Oh, there's a little extension. Oh, that's a little thing. Look, uh, let me put something like that in. I, mean, I don't really know why. We can do that, can we? Oh, okay. I mean, it's not awful on the tower there. Look, it sits relatively nicely. And then there, where it doesn't, 
we can um, we can put a doorway in or something. So if we sit it nice there, just because we can, and if we take a doorway and put that in, and basically we've made ourselves a back door, right? Up against that uh, window. In fact, we could cover, cover the window. No, we won't cover the window. We'll do it like that. So it looks like the window is built up to it to give us that back door neatness there. We can get a chimney on it. Let's stick ta uh, toggle on for a sec, see where the chimney wants to go. That looks good to me. Um, and then we could probably get this funky wall fence fence on somewhere as well. And that covers up that window quite nicely. I'm going to say uh, start construction, although it needs polished stone. It doesn't matter. The, the thing's built now. Okay, so we can come to parts, can we? Uh, here we go. And then we can tell them to do stuff. So the core... Your hall, uh, envoys will be posted here. Multiple building parts splendor by two allows you to promote villages to higher statuses. Additional maintenance cost. Okay, also treasury. Expanded treasury capacity by 240. Study room, a cozy room to study blueprints and learn their secrets. So you are gonna be the great hall. There you go, you can actually tell, the, tell things to do stuff. The tower can become a treasury or a study room as well. Uh, and then obviously these bits are getting built as, the, as they will. Okay, so we haven't really got the the stone needed for now, but we can now promote a villager to surf. So how do we do that? Great Hall, yes. Allows you to promote villagers' statuses. Okay. Uh, that's the construction. So how do we actually promote people? At the end of the month, promote a villager to surf. Is that going to be something that just sort of pops up for us to do? Authorised housing upgrade, authorised housing density upgrade. Yes, that's fine. So how do we how do we promote people? That that's new. That, that that's that's a new system. I, they did it, I believe they did it automatically previously, just sort of as the uh, as their space allowed. So at the end of the month, where's the time? I don't know where the month. Oh, here we go. Month four. Week two, day three. So at the end of month four, does it maybe just pop up and say, who do you want to upgrade to? Okay, so we, to finish off here then, um, I'm just waiting for this last week to go and to see if anything pops up. I'm, I'm kind of hoping it does at the end of the month. Um, otherwise, I'm not too sure about that. I'm going to have to have a look into that before episode two. Uh, but we need some polished stone to finish off our fountain here. This building's not actually classed as, as finished yet, technically. Although the... the the buildings that are the bits that are finished do work, which is neat. Um, so we need polished stone. So we put down a stone mason, and they will start generating polished stone from regular stone, which is good. So they'll do that. Uh, and the next thing we needed then is a is a warehouse that I put over here in what's very much becoming the sort of a work district. So here, this is good because we can um, assign people to it. They're actually going to take two off uh, off there. There we go. I'm going to take two off there and put them onto this one instead. There we go. I think I might have clicked three there because it messed up. Uh, okay, and then we can we can start setting these. So slot one, we'll say, can be wood. Slot two, we'll say, it can be planks. Slot three, we'll say, it can be uh, tools. And slot four, we can say cloth. So actually, I'm going to get rid of the wood, sorry, and we're going to have polished stone there instead. So, now we've got uh, these here, I believe we can sell them. How we do that, I can't remember. Here we go, trade. So, neighbouring cities, unlock a trade route for 20 planks, and they will sell tools. I could do someone that sells cloth. So, coal, fish. No, we're selling cloth, annoyingly. But we need... We need... We need... Uh, tools because we can't generate them but they will buy berries polished stone planks and wine so i'll unlock that here we go so the resources that we're selling have to be sat here so we can't buy cloth so we might as well um clear that out and put in so i say this way, let's say wood and planks tools and polished stone okay and then we can 
uh, we can now buy them. So trade resources. So uh, we need tools. So we're gonna buy until inventory reaches five. So every t basically every time a trader turns up, they they rock up and they come and stand over by this warehouse. Every time a trader can turns up, we're gonna buy five tools, or we're not gonna if we don't need them. Uh, the other thing then I wanna sell above uh, anything above. A hundred and... Well, let's have a look. Um, we can hopefully do this quicker. There we go. Anything above 150, as it stands, you can sell the berries. Okay. So anything above 150... Sell. All right. So we've always got 150 in stock. And also planks as well. Planks, anything above... Uh, we've got 68 in stock. Anything above 50... I will say, let's anything above fifty, you can sell those as well. All right, and then they might not sell, they might not buy them, but if they do, it's a bit of extra cash, right? I mean, at the moment we're we're kind of stuck on money anyway. So what I might do is take, say, this building here, um, wood extension. Um, my lord, for a certain cost, you can promote some of your villagers to a higher status. Ah, right, here we go. So. 20 gold to turn them all into serfs. Go for it. Boom. So we now have 22 serfs, which I think means we're going to need some more space for houses. Because they're all going to want to live here now, right? Oh, no, they're starting already. That's good. Okay. So the tower can be assigned a function. Let's say the tower is treasury then, because so, we were capping out at 800 a lot. So now we can have... Uh, 500 lot, sorry. Now we can have 800 there, so that's good. That's what I really like about this, is these these extra bits, they not only do they look cool and it's fun to make, um, the fact is they actually do something as far as the game is concerned as well. It's really quite neat. Oh, here we go. Look at all the houses going up. So now some have gone down. I wonder if they're going to build, they're going to rebuild the space. It looks like they are. Oh, that's cool. I don't think they did that before. So they're going to pack themselves in a little bit more. That's neat. Oh, awesome. Excited to see where this one goes, to be honest, because like I say, it's come on quite a bit since we last played. A lot of new features. Uh, last time it was like a bit of a early look, you know, and we just kind of did like about five or six videos, I think, and had a little village. I really want to do like a sprawling city. I think that'd be really so much fun if we can get up to that point anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.